The German town of Peitz is just 150 kilometers southeast of the capital, but it might as well be a world away. Since the fall of the Berlin Wall, the city center has been rebuilt, but the mayor says the transition from east to west has been bittersweet. All of the economic infrastructure of the region crumbled at the time. Since then, the city has completely transformed. Before 1989, Brandenburg's population lived from textiles, chemistry and paper. Only the coal industry has survived. But the last major source of jobs is living on borrowed time. As Germany plans to phase out fossil fuels, Jörg Krakow is preparing for the worst. We hope to avoid a new shift, because the memory of what we experienced in the 1990s is still painful. And nothing was done at the time to replace all these jobs. Millions of euros invested in infrastructure, but no plan for an economic transition. As a result, the town lost nearly a third of its residents since 1989. At the street market, some of the oldest residents are seeing their disillusionment with reunification transformed into fear for their future. In terms of jobs, it was never the same again. That also goes for pensions. We have a lot to catch up on compared to Western regions. We will lose even more jobs when the coal-fired plants close. Nothing good will come of this, and we are the ones who are going to suffer. Purchasing power will drop again. Their fears and frustrations are fueling the rise of the far right. In September's local elections, 37 percent of Peitz's residents voted for the Nationalist Alternative for Germany. Turns out the anti-immigration party is the only one fighting for the coal industry. We need to take care of this region now, otherwise we're heading for catastrophe. We've always said we want a quiet revolution to finally achieve what people were protesting for in 1989. For now, it's not the case. Targeting the failures of reunification. An efficient strategy in a region where 59 percent of residents say they feel like second-class citizens.